Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Disco Elysium. I'm Chris. I'm here with my co-host, Tyler. Say hello, Tyler. Mein Hund hat kein Nass. They retes. Absolute. Thank you for that stirring reading uh, from some uh, media property. No. From, no, it's not. Uh, some uh, famous speech. I mean... It was framed in a speech, but uh, it's not. I just, I just said, uh, my dog has no nose. How does it smell? Terrible. <laughs> anyway, uh, last time we uh, woke up to day three, and we had some confusing conversations with what seems to be police officers or elite B agents. That was the name of the game. I couldn't remember. That is the name of the game. So yeah, look, uh, kudos to you if you guessed that. Uh, but if you are just typing in the comments now saying, oh, I totally knew that. Uh, no, you're lying. You didn't know it until Tyler just said it. And you were pretending like you knew it last time. I assume most people who comment on our videos are liars. Like when they say nice things, like they can't be telling the truth. Feel shame. When I ask someone not to dislike a video, they I immediately got a dislike on the video. Yeah, it's like reverse psychology in the worst way possible. I know, right? Like, hey, don't like, dislike the video. It makes me sad. And someone disliked it. Yeah, it's like when you say, don't step on me, daddy, and then they just proceed to step on you. Yeah, that's true. I do like it when daddy steps on me. You keep doing that. I keep discussing this. <laughs> anyway, uh, where to this time, Tyler? We were going to go check out the water log. All right. And we're also we're also thinking about the... Was it the not the auction shop, the pawn shop? The pawn shop. That's right. Why did I forget the name of the pawn shop? I don't know. Sometimes that's just how it goes. I like how you pawn things, and people are rooks, but you don't bishop things. Hmm, that's true. What other what other chess terminology can we equate into like regular verbs? Lots, probably. But, uh, Too I'm many to sure. count. All right, pawn shop it is. I love that when you highlight him, you can see his legs through the wall. Hello, hello. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Let's not ask him for drugs. Okay. Uh, I think we've already asked him about guns, but uh, we can we can maybe ask him again just to see. Yeah, it's like, do you have the specific make and model? Yeah, that exactly. I totally. Can, yeah, get more specific. Someone else came here earlier today asking the same question. This is a pawn shop, and it did oh. feel as if you've met before. Wait. The lieutenant shifts from one foot to We've already to been another. through this. Alert. So, yeah. We hurt ourselves again. Yeah, we did. Sure, man. Well, let's uh, not uh, go down that path again, I guess. But uh, I guess he was. He, I guess the answer is no. Uh, he does not have the gun. He does not have that gun. So you don't want him drugged? Uh, have drugs? I have no idea what I'd use the drugs for. I'm trying to stay clean. Fair enough. Alright, anything else in here? Uh, yeah, give me... Is this a thing we can... What a shirt. Oh, yeah, this All is the other shirt. shirts pale in comparison oh, yeah. to the muscular the, man. Is the man from Yelp Doll shirt. Yeah, I don't need, we don't need this particular pussy whip, sir. Fair enough. Alright. Out of here, then? Yeah, let's get out of here. They have no Pokemon cards that are unbent. All right. Hey, it's guys. It's guys, guys being dudes. Just guys being dudes. You're right. Uh, well, shall we? We can't interact with them at all. No, it doesn't appear so. Shall we close the water lock? Let's close the water lock. All right. They look like the Beagle Boys. They do. A rusting control panel with loose wires dangling out from the hole where an indic. You grab the handle and pull the lever up. As soon the as the heroes of time against the contact <laughs> right. ends, you hear a loud clunk. Then the water lock starts moving. If we ever need to get to the coast, then this is the way. But please, contain your wanderlust for now. I don't want us to get sidetracked, not with everything that's going on. 
Hey, Kim, I have a very serious question. How can we didn't do a sick flip over the bridge? Serious question. We could, we could have come here yesterday, but instead we wasted time doing things related to the actual crime. That's right. Focus on one thing. Achieve it, then the next, he thinks. That's the task, Jane. Oh my god. Indeed it is. Although, we have I... <laughs> done a pretty good job, Kim, to be fair. Yeah. I love that line of, of uh, like, that sequence of how to do things, because I had a college professor that did exactly that. Where he tried to sound very profound. He's like, do the thing you have to do first, and then when you're done, move on to the next thing. And we're like, dude, that doesn't solve the issue of, uh, you know, like, project management between the instructors. <laughs> Is this? Money. Take a look at this. It's a radio device. You fall asleep next to a power station, you're not gonna get a good night's sleep. No, that's probably true. I mean, a lot of feng shui stuff is like, don't sleep near electromagnetic waves. It's like, okay. I hope you're okay with me just kind of bopping around here for, for oh, I don't major mind. goals in mind. We're specking out the area, just strutting our stuff. Pile of bricks. The magnesium. Oh. The magnesium heals morale. Yep. <laughs> abandoned motor lorries. Oh no. Why are they abandoned? No entry. Oh hey. Locked door. Interesting. The inverted star is the revolutionary symbol. What's happening? Uh, Why would that be there? The, the antlers are revolutionary. But... Oh, I thought there was a star with the antlers. I think it is the star as well, so maybe. Let's go. Let's go. Body moving, body moving. We've been getting down, you know, which crush grooving. A breaker box. Maybe there's something inside. Yeah, electricity. Yeah, 90 cents. Oh, Sick. Yeah. Ooh, money. Decades old concrete defenses. Yeah. Oh, ooh, those are defenses, all right. Can't land a boat here. You can't do a beach invasion here. Yeah. Now with all this in the way. Someone has broken down the fence and the barbed wire. What? Yep. Well, they're trying. To, which way were they trying to get in? This way. Were they trying to escape? Ooh, a shack. Glory to the ghosts of us. Who is us? We are. Oh. Here, baby. Go. Let's go. Kim, there's something in the mystery shack. The guy who invented Soylent lives in a container on top of a hill with no locks on his doors exactly like this. Guess what happened? He got robbed. He got robbed and vandalized. <laughs> I mean, if he had, like, been a normal person, you know, that would have been... Yeah, like, he's like, I'm going to optimize uh, human efficiency and just kill my gut flora and just piss in the sink. Because pooping uses too much water. It's like, uh, okay. Like, he's a great example of people looking at numbers and then just being like, I can mathematically oh, solve hey. human problems. Hey, Check whoa. Hey. Someone left their music collection under here. Suckers. Choo. Sheesh! Alright. Let's get ready to karaoke it up. We can indeed karaoke it up. Oh, we can interact with this. What does it say? Oh, interact with it. Not read it. Oh, uh. Oh, here we go. We have a thought. Here it is. Rust peels off the bent iron posts of the swing. The wind whistles through the skeleton of the small house behind you. There's desolation everywhere. What happened? Why are they like this? In this yard? Someone oh, felt water. they could have a summer house in a block obscure for cheap. It didn't work out. They abandoned it about a decade ago. What's a block obscure? Is that a Quebec thing? A black block. A part of the city left unrenovated after the war. Or one that has fallen to gang violence. Or has become inhospitable in some other way. On aerial photos, block obscures look like dark squares, hence their name. 
So part of the coast is the black obscure part. Is it this part with the bad house, or is it the part where you can't land a boat? Probably both. That's Practically, fair. it's not an official term in any way, but look around. No sewage, broken power lines, crime, drums. Life is tough in the blocks. It's no place to build a summer house. I hear blocks, I think like tower blocks, like the public housing in the UK. Yeah, I guess maybe that's kind of intentional. At least they left some old music. Yes, and you picked it up as part of the Jamrock Shuffle. It's not meant as nagging, just an observation. We should move. I don't think we will solve the murder with forays into the urban hinterland, at least in this phase of the investigation. Well, geez, King. Okay. I like the idea that the Jamrock Shuffle is you mix a tape and then you just leave samples around town for people to find and then you build a community based off of discovered samples on the street. Alright. Hey, this will help you. exploring or uh, do you want to try and uh, do other stuff? Or? Let's explore a little bit more. I like seeing the new scenery. We've seen so much of the other side. Fair. This might out me as an old man, but I miss when some people would just make 3D mix cast, where just like a 50 megabyte MP3 file with just music they personally mixed. Now a lot of those same people just do Spotify playlists. Not bad, but nostalgia. Yep. Money! You love money. Don't you, folks? If you hate money, I understand. What's this car do it? Excellent question. Is that a house? I believe. A banged up motor carriage lies half submerged in the icy water, slowly sinking into the Insulindian ocean. Only the cabin top, rear wheels, and the engine remain visible. It must be cold and lonely down there in the icy water. The seawater has already started to corrode the metalworks. Remember the tire tracks in Martinez? This is where they were leading. Yep. We did that hey. visual calculus check earlier. That's right. They did a sick flip and everything. Yep. It appears to be so. Let's investigate. I agree. Just leave it. We should definitely investigate. <laughs> Let's put a ticket right on the car. <laughs> you get a sudden sinking feeling. Stomach acid comes up as you look at the motor carriage in the deep, dark, cold water don't tell me that was me why the doom and gloom it's just a sunken motor carriage some motor carriages are bound to end up in the sea well, what's the make of this the logo is too deep in the murky water you can't make it out but you do see a monkfish float by yeah so it's not all bad yeah it's an ecosystem now with motor oil in your hand, I, let's run our hand over the cold metal. Act the like motor carriage is happen. properly stuck in the ice. Getting it out would require a team of specialists. Damn. A single day in the salty seawater would ruin most vehicles, but this one looks worn even in places the salt water hasn't touched it. It looks already old. Don't cry for it. It was already old. Well, how long has it been here? The ice hasn't closed around the vehicle yet. My guess is it's been here since last Saturday or Sunday. Oh no, I did this, didn't I? I don't want to. I don't want to take responsibility for this, Kim. <laughs> I feel like the Jacob Errors journey joke could be in bad taste. I bet Kim would be like, "Hey, he was a famous driver. Don't you fucking talk about him. Don't talk shit about him or MacGyver." Let's go for it anyways. All right. Lighten the Your mocking tone finds no response, but the motion of the waves. <laughs> Even oh, worse. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> Enough gloating. This is serious. Yes. She's just Quiet. stone faced. <laughs> I love how I love how such minimalist stuff like that gives me such a great image in my head. What a beautiful game. <laughs> what what should we do, Stone Face Jackson? Let's wait for the low tide and see what's inside. 
Great Take idea. Then we can get the things inside. The Joyrider must have left something good inside. Guns, papers, maybe a cool jacket. A Joyrider jacket. Ooh, a Joyrider jacket. You think they make those? I bet they do, and it has my badge in it. <laughs> How long? I don't know. An hour or two tops? All right. Well, we can wait for an hour if you want. You know what? Yeah, let's wait an hour. It's only eight. It's only eight in the morning. Yeah, it's not that long. As you sit down in the old oh, rusty nice. playground, the world around you becomes very silent. The hinges creak under your weight, dangerously so. Nothing but the sound of seagulls high above in the sky, echoing like distant laughter. Ice cracks around the blue motor carriage in the sea. We have to, we have to whistle a tune. 97%. The tune on your lips forms a strange yet undeniably beautiful contrast with the surrounding bleakness. The lieutenant gives you a quick glance, then, still looking straight ahead, he joins you with a higher pitched and slightly more melodic trill two birds on a wire whistling by the seaside looking at the water and the sunken car the clouds pass in the sky and the shadow of the swing moves like the hour hand on a timepiece 30 minutes have passed Aww. looks like this might take a while time to present a good topic for discussion Tide sure is taking its sweet time. Why the fuck would I even choose number one? That's a fucked up question. Alright. Yeah. I believe it's following a pattern set millions of years ago by cosmic forces. But I suppose it could move quicker, yeah? Yeah. Clouds on the horizon grow darker, and the shadow of the swing set keeps climbing. You hear the distant rumble of the city. Thirty minutes pass. <laughs> <laughs> number two is fucking great <laughs> well it is available to you i just love hours of silence and then just can you think i'll ever find my gun uh yeah let's go <laughs> that's a fun one let's go with number two god i hope so You know what? No, number one, let's be positive. I'm the living weapon. Your voice echoes on the water, strange and out of place in the environment. 30 more minutes pass. Can you make out the mark now? Oh, I, is that a number on the side? Yep. Yes, yeah, 41. Good. What do you think it stands for? It's as if he knows what it stands for, but wants you to say it. It's pedagogical. Does he know something about the driver of this vehicle? Oh no. I bet we did it. This is our vehicle. <laughs> I knew it. I called it. I didn't want to call it. Yeah, you called it. Maybe. I mean, I um, don't know. Maybe it's Tommy 41. Tommy 41 here on FM 41. Playing the classics. The classics and the classics only. I'm sitting in the basement of a hot dog. Uh, let's go with number four. Let's be let's be realistic. A precinct, yes. A police precinct. Precinct forty one. Your precinct. I can't believe someone stole my car and did this. A massive pit opens up in your stomach, and the most terrible feeling comes over you. No, just nope. Say no to this, Harry. It's mine. I drove my car to the sea. I'm a monster. Fuck, <laughs> fuck you, Volition. Volition, <laughs> we gotta be honest. I'm afraid so, yes. It looks like you started in front of the whirling, jumped over the canal, and then drove your vehicle in the sea right here. I can still fix it. Fix <laughs> <Like> fucking what? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> uh, 
I could I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I was in pursuit of someone. No, you weren't. Let's go with number one. Of whom? I don't think so. If anything, you were probably drunk. Yeah, I was in pursuit probably of the thrill, Kim. Try definitely. Well, yeah. <laughs> I can still fix it, Kim. There's still time. That is very unlikely. All the electrics are toast. That goes for the electromagnetic steering and brake systems as well. You'd be lucky to find one undamaged component in there. In a few months, there will be nothing but rust left of this vehicle. It'll be cheaper to buy a new one. Well, not cheaper. This motor carriage costs 40,000 real. But in the long run, it still makes more sense to buy a new machine than try to refurbish this. Uh, this is a disaster. Big mood, Kim. This is, in fact, a disaster. Yeah. Let's face disaster. it. Dave this crisis. is a substantial loss to your district's budget. I mean, my station only has four other vehicles in addition to my kinema. This was 20% of the station's vehicular budget. You know, if you don't remember it, technically it's not a crime. That's true. Uh, if you lose your memory, you're technically a new person. You should be absolved of your crimes. That's why if I ever do anything heinous, just hit me in the head with a hammer until I have interrograde amnesia. A technically new person. They're not going to take me back after this, are they? This is my last case. Sorry, what? Oh, what? Uh, oh. Let's go to number four. Okay. People are more valuable than machines. Training a police officer is even more costly. So nothing of value was lost. <laughs> well, something of great value was lost, but at least you're not dead. If you can throw it in the sea, it's probably not valuable. Just saying. That's why right. how you, you can't throw a house into the sea. That's why there's so not much with that stuff. attitude. Oh, you know what? You're right. I'm only my the limit is only me. Uh, <laughs> let's go with number five: the badge, the gun, and now this. The lieutenant adjusts his glasses and doesn't say anything. Kim, this is a big There is move. also a fourth thing you've lost. Not his respect, is it? Fourth thing. More precious than the gun, the badge, and the motor carriage combined. Lost forever into the deepest of seas. It's not true. What if we can go in there and find it? <laughs> in the deepest of seas? Maybe. Well, our brain thinks it's the deepest of seas. Yeah, but Inland Empire, you know what I mean. Come on. Yeah, sorry, Mr. David Lynch. I keep saying that. I'm going to keep saying it. How do we get it out? Detective, we don't. A rescue operation really isn't viable at this point. It's just going to be there like that? You know, little kids playing it? I'm afraid it will have to be there like that for many years. Look at it. Parts of it might be salvageable, but overall, this machine is a write-off. This are going so well. You can still whistle. Besides, the night is always darkest before the dawn. Um, actually, Kim, it's not darkest before it rises. Sunrise is a gradual lightening of the dark. Sorry, I was uh, not listening to you. Did you say anything? I'm I'm sorry. Uh, R slash pet entry cells uh, you know, got the best of me. Sorry, I, I wasn't listening to you. Did you say anything? Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, shall well, we uh, conclude? Let's conclude here. I don't want to um, actually him any harder than I just have because he's been epically pwned. Or I've been, it's not clear. It's called a draw. Yes. Let's go take a look. <laughs> Traffic hooligan, it was us. It was us. Alright, we have finished our thought. Fairweather T500. Remember that weakness you were looking for in the ceramic armor? Like, maybe it can only stop small, fast projectiles, but a large, slow moving pry bar would shatter it? Or. If I run an electrical current through it, maybe it will melt. Or, personal favorite, 
frequency something something radio weapon none of that would work you need to shoot the part of the enemy that doesn't have fair with a t500 on it because the armor itself is invulnerable good news is so are the armor pieces on you all right so uh we have gotten plus two hand-eye coordination against enemies wearing this kind of armor I'm glad we have a, a, a stat buff for a combat thing in a non-combative game. Well. Well, non-combative in the sense that, like, we're not doing, like, turn-based minigames. I mean, I was going to say, there is combat, it's just not that kind of combat. Yeah, this While is we're a, in the thought thinking... cabinet, uh, are there uh, either of these you still want to, you want to stick in there while we have the chance, or no? What is, what is White Morning again? We got this uh, while we were uh, sleeping last night. Oh. It's just letting go of the past. Seems like it. Maybe maybe that could be helpful. Maybe they'll make it stronger. Maybe. Although we are we are a disco though, so I'm torn. Maybe we don't have to. I don't, no, I don't no, I think we're good for now. Alright, fair enough. Um, Saves the slots for something like thinking about big anime milkies, as right. the common parlance would would uh, phrase it. Uh, also, I just noticed we have a point in ultra liberal. We did. We said something liberal once. Oh yes, and we haven't investigated this yet. So I hate that. All right, do you want to check in the car? Let's check in the car. Hey, RCM badge and hey. leather jacket. What? It's not as cool as our, our robe, but let's check it. Uh, yeah, let's. Yeah. I mean, all right. I mean, it kind of work, kind of works. It's just you know, it's well, all robe, on. You let's know? put a an actual shirt on with it. I mean, let's let's why not? Let's get the whole the whole nine yards going here. Look at this rhinestone cowboy. At this guy. This. Wait, where are the. Should as long as I got my suit. Oh, God. He's wearing a Winnipeg tuxedo. That's right. All right. Perfect. Now we look like a cop. Gloves are a bit silly. Let's go with the thong gloves. Yeah. Put those stripes on there. Now we're vibing. Uh, this is a Winnipeg tuxedo through and through. Oh, no, we're not wearing denim. Never mind. That's true, we're not. Not anymore. I put the yellow pants on. Do you want the denim? Oh, no, no. I was just saying, like, that would make a Winnipeg tuxedo. Or a transconic tuxedo. I forget the parlance. Well, we found our badge. Hey, that's us back when we you looked younger. To, uh, interact with it? We're excited. Let's interact with it. Let's mourn the loss of time. A police badge on which you see the photo of a man. You. Some seaweed is stuck to the back. I found my badge. At least something good came out of all this. Study the badge. Touch the badge. Encased between two durable plastic sheets is a bluish card with lines of information and a watermark in the shape of the street grid of Rivershall West. You see a photo, a name, a rank, a document number, the date of issue, and in the lower right corner, your precinct. I'm assuming when he said two plastic sheets, it meant it was laminated. Yeah, like old-fashioned laminated, I guess. You know, one of the... I don't regret much in life, but one of the things I do is not taking advantage of the card lamination machine at my old job when I was, like, 16 to make a fake ID. Damn, that would have been sick. It would have been. Oh, God, I would have gotten so much stuff. Yep. Yeah. Harrier no Dubois. Harrier Dubois. Harrier, that's slang for Harry. So you are Harry. Evrat was half right. Probably not a lot of people know your full name. Whoever told him you're Harry Dubois didn't. What kind of name is Harrier? It's a wartime name. Revolutionary. The kind mothers give their sons during troubled times. Like Undying or Boxer or Ironhide. A lane like armor. Ooh. It's like those Puritan names, like Mrs. Goodmurder. A name like armor. 
Do we want to accept our name like armor? No, I don't accept it. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe I'm I'm the rain transformed. Remember? Fair enough. Why? It's a cool name. I like it. Besides, you're Harry anyway. No one's ever called Harrier. He's not going to call you Harrier. He'll keep calling you Officer when he's angry with you, and Detective when he's not. The badge in your hands shines as you rotate it, catching light. You see lines of information. Date of issue, 7 November 50. Does not declare what century we're in, despite this being an official documentation. It's the current one. <laughs> oh, current century, right, yeah. They'll, they'll never have computers to care about Y2K, so why should they? Four months ago. Seems like a new document was recently made. One is handed to you as part of a promotion, or if you lose the old one. You're oh, pretty no. sure you weren't doing well, but better? Probably yes. A lot can happen in four months, especially in winter. The winters are never easy on you, of that you are sure. Damn, let's look at the photo. The man keeps winking at you with his green-gray eyes. The photo is old, no doubt about that. But the badge is new. You used an old photo for a new badge. Hmm. How old? Damn, I like how the tone of the music changed as soon as it said that. Eight, how old? maybe ten years. The guy in the picture is rather good-looking. He's got a nice haircut and is distinctly lacking in massive sideburns. He's winking. What do you think? His face is already contorted by the expression, although it looks less grotesque on him than it does on you now. It looks better on him because he isn't in as much pain while producing it as you are now. Although there's already a hint of that pain, certainly. Don't be fooled. The bad times have already begun. Oh no. Wake up the past and tell it to stay away. The bad times are here to stay. I don't wanna. The badge in your hand shines as you bad rotate it, catching light. You see lines of information on it seen so far. and a shining oh, watermark. Precinct 41. I wanna be part of Precinct 69. Yes, it's the designation of your precinct. 41. Like mine says 57. The 57th is mostly industrial harbor. A lot of asphalt. The 41st is... It's a tough what? station to work in. You have all of Jamrock to cover. That district should have three precincts, but money is what it is. It's no wonder you are like you are, he thinks. But then again... But then again... It's a legendary district, and a hell of a station, too. It must be an honor and a curse to work with people like Price, McCoy, Berdyayeva. Roberts, Feuerbach, Dimitri. Suddenly, names from your decomptage flash in your forebrain. And they all have Dick Mullen's face. He knew all those people, although they're not from his station. They must be big. The badge in your hand shines as you rotate it, catching light. You see lines of information on it, and a shining watermark. It's like when Ned Flanders is uh, asking Bart and Lisa if they know about certain things from the Bible, but they're all things that are just made up. <laughs> yep. Like the, great of, like the great dinner of uh, Charu Hezebar. Of course. Ah, how could you forget? I would never. Yeah, let's put that clip in. Just play oh. it over top. Okay. Oh, let's, no, let's not do that. No, it's too late. I'm doing it. <laughs> Are you Here doing it? it? Oh. Here it is. Here it comes. <laughs> well, thank you, Chris, for being such a good sport about it. I would not have held you to doing that. Now my video is going to get claimed. Oh, I'm no. Not make any ad revenue. Oh, yeah. No. yeah, that's right. Oh, not that I was making no. any before, but still. Oh, the, the door is now thoroughly closed for this video. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> what have I done? I say things and they're willed into existence. Yeah, you have a you have a terrible and great power. God, I will, Chris, I'll never wish you into the cornfield. You're too cool for that. <laughs> I I think we're done looking at the badge for now, though. You know what? Yeah, the stuff you don't know you did. Okay. Yeah. All right. We can do it when we go to bed. The badge. Um. There's also the tape. I don't know if you want to look at it or. Let's look at it. Sure. Let's see if it says anything on it, like. Uh, there's no love. way to listen to the tape without a working tape player. But even just holding the tape makes you feel a little sad. A pawn shop. A pawn shop would have a tape player. Ooh. Alright, so Ooh. if we want to play that, we need a tape player. I, I, right. I remember holding my old MP3s. Being mournful. Yeah, I know, right? Well, shall we keep exploring? Or head yes. back? Or... Okay. There's there's something yellow over there. So there is. Need to be some money. Oh. Footprints leading away from the accident. Oh no, they're my footprints. Oh, there's my dinghy. There's another dinghy. Girls love it when you drive a dinghy. Take all the trash. I do. I will. What's in the window? Is it a cat? There's a child in a forgotten chair. Let's not forget the chair. Remember the chair. Oh, come on, we're gonna take Kaczynski's house? What is this? Dark red chair. Cold breeze. Ooh, it's on the shelves. A postcard. From 08. A bow tie. Yo, ooh, ooh, ooh. Baby. Let's put that puppy on. There oh, we yeah. go. Yes. All right. Now we're moving up in the world. We are indeed. All right. One, two, the two, to the one, two, three. I like good. If you want me to like good weed. <laughs> if you want to like turn back an eight points. I'll let you know, but I'm getting more ass in a toilet seat. Tell you how I made a lead with me. Conversation and fantasy. Don't let that flag girl pass you by. Da, 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 the stroke lights out now. Party! Sounds of life. Ooh, take us to the life. Back to life. Back to reality. Silver box. Fire pit. Oh. Thick and thorny to pass through. Can't just walk around it. Probably good. The worn and beaten wooden planks of the bench do not look overly comforting. Hmm. We can sit on benches after we've solved the murder. Let's go. Can you never work a service job, have you? Sitting down is very important. It is. You gotta take, like how you we... gotta take breaks. Yeah, I like how we went from uh, Old Town Montreal to Eastern European block. Like a sad one, not a. Hey, some inter easelary trousers. Hey. Ooh. Pop those babies on, check them out. Look at us, we look like a, we almost know what we're doing. Exactly. The armored boots, especially. Mm. What do we think? These are some wonderfully regular pants. Not too tight, not too loose, moderate in every sense. You blend right in at some pleasant dinner party. Do we like regular think... normal things? Yeah, I like jeggings. Joggers, you guys sorry. Like a regular normal pair of pants from time to time. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta. How much spandex mm -hmm. are in them, though? I know you do. These inter isolari pants are like wearing a perfect compromise in your nether regions. No one will call the moral intern on you like this, that's for sure. You're a little more moralist now, buddy. A little more normal, even if you didn't want to be. It's fucking winter and my legs are cold. Let me have this. <laughs> What's God. this? We're getting reports of normal, reasonable, temperate, political opinions somewhere in Martinez. Fuck uh -oh. you, I'm one of those 
I'm I'm a real radical. Despite being over the age of 30, I'm not conservative. Look, man, wearing a normal pair of pants, you could still be a communist and wear normal pants. You don't have yeah. to wear, like, assless chaps. Although okay. it helps. You know what? I've gotten into so many arguments lately about assless chaps because assless chaps is redundant because chaps have no ass. I guess that's true. I mean, it's fun to say assless chaps, but apparently that's like saying ATM machine and people just fucking flip their shit when you say it. I suppose the thing you're supposed to say is pantsless chaps, because you're not wearing pants. That is true. Easy access. You're just wearing you know, chaps. You know, misogyny has a lot of problems, but one of the big ones, I think, that doesn't get talked about a lot is if you're going to have one group of people wear the dress, why would it not be the people with dangling body parts? Look, man. Don't ask me questions like that. It's too difficult. I, I, robes? I don't know. You wear, if you own like six robes and you wear them instead of clothes for like weeks at a time like I have, man, you, you start to see how flawed misogyny really is. You truly do. All right. You must be mistaken. I'm a real radical. Of course. A radical centrist. Gotcha. Fuck you! In these Ouch! Times Fuck! Where a thousand frequencies drown one another out, sober thinking is a radical act. It's time. No. To become a citizen of the kingdom of conscience. No, that sounds like a weird fascist book. All right, we are opting out of centrism and liberal. We're opting. You're opting out. I have never opted out of something faster. Fair enough. That's a pity. Real democracy was just around the corner for Revishal. All the leading citizens are waiting there, without you. All right. No, no. Red flag forever, baby. No radical centrism for us. What's your favorite radical centrist policy? Oh, probably like, uh... Oh, we have quick travel to the fisherman's shacks now, if we want to. We don't want to walk Ooh, all the way. Hey. That's nice. A wetting stone. Hold on, let's just get down to the beach here. Oh yeah, we're in old Yarnum now. The underside of the boat has recently been tarred. I'm just trying to not get into any major conversations yet. I just want to kind of explore the area. And oh, absolutely. Pop I, I like this. Hey, 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 locals, we're scrounging your area for money and toys. Construction material. Some kids Can't believe we here. found all of these sun damaged McDonald's toys outside. Or tear. That's just life, friend. Sometimes you find a single shoe on the side of a highway for no reason. True. Sometimes there's a foot in it, and sometimes there isn't. And if you find a foot, you're lucky. Free foot? No, don't say free foot. That's a, that's all movement. You know what? You want to be lumped in with Oh, those. yeah, don't free the foot. Keep the foot in prison, please. Yeah, f foot prison is okay. It's the only kind I'm in favor of. Yeah. Unless it's sandals. Society is a prison, uh, and the feet especially. Yeah, send us. Don't send us pictures of your free feet. Do not. I will give you my address to not send it to me. It's in the bucket. Locked. Hey, what are you doing over there, asshole? Get the fuck away from my front door! Ah. Well, uh, this is an RPG. I, can oh, I know. <laughs> I can fucking walk. No, in I mean like doesn't say that. Hey, this is an RPG. <laughs> oh, you say that in game to them, like, hey, uh, this you're not real. Dialogue line is covering whatever it said. Uh, what are these doing in the fish? What? It's in Mercury. Boots. Yo. Sick boots. Oh, look at this. Look um, at us. These are boots, all right. God, I'm hot. We're always hot. I mean, look, look at that, look at that pussy whip smile we got going on. That's my new favorite slang that I invented. I hope people steal it. What? Pussy whip. Yeah. Like that's... in terms of like car that gets you laid. Uh, oh, nice. Yeah, I do like that. Yeah. All right. Like, it's, well... it's it's on par with like a pussy wagon or cunt train. Well, we've pretty thoroughly explored the fishing village. There's some people kicking around here, so uh, if we want to keep exploring, you'll probably want to talk to them, I imagine. 
I, I would. I imagine we can't talk to them if we don't approach them. We have That's to overcome true. our anxiety. But the main reason I don't want to approach them just yet is because we've been recording for a little while, and I think it's about time we call it quits for today. Tell us your favorite German memes. Please do. Um, and while you're doing that, I'd just like to take this time to thank you very much for watching. I'm thankful too. All Stay right. beautiful. Bye.